since I'm sitting here, do you guys want a dating update? Hello, I'm Kelly. Welcome to my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. I've got these new glasses, and if you can see, they reflect things in purple. I think it's because of the blue light filter I have on them, but anyway, it's purple, purple, purple. So I am putting my bag together and Oh my gosh, I am so, 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 so relieved because I am headed to the hospital day for my IV infusions and I will try to tell you more about it there because I've got to get ready because I have to leave in 23 minutes and I don't have any groomed yet. Um, I've got a migraine. There's a system going through. It's been a month since I've had IV infusions and my brain is like where are they so i'm really really excited i have my parents dogs why are you sniffing her hello leilani leilani dash is mine jojo is my parents and then gibbs and then you can see benny moved he's probably on the floor between the bed and the bed Stop so gonna get on the ride Twisting and turning through life No matter how rough it gets I'll get by <laughs> Home moves with me where I roam It's in every dream I make my own I'm so happy I'm never alone I know that every day will always bring me something new I'm running late <laughs> which is i'm running late to be early just to clarify usually when i say i'm running late it's because i'm not as early as i thought it was going to be but benny and i are ready to go to the hospital because i need to get my hold on my phone's ringing Hello, this is Kelly. Hi, my name is Kathy with registration. Uh -huh. I'm calling to get you pre-registered. What is this for? For your infusion today at 12 o'clock. Okay. Is it different than normal? Because I've been getting these every week. Y yes, ma'am. It's actually different now. Uh, okay. When you check in at the desk. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting a call when I've been doing this for really since June of 21. I'm happy to do whatever they say I need to do but now I'm running even later. <laughs> so what I do, because my balance can get really off when I throw my big purse around and it's really full when we go to these places, is I have this little card holder and I put whatever I need just for that outing in it. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna tell you about my IV infusions because I didn't get to last week uh, and about everything, the complications. Benny stand. Let's go. We're going babes. Benny off. And then he stands like that with his butt in the air. This is what we do every single time. No. Off. Yes, down. So funny. I don't know how we got into the habit, but we are. I need to get us out of it. He's still standing. <laughs> it's like he heard me or something. Yes, good down. Good boy down. Anyway, so I have been getting IV infusions since June of 2021. I did have to take a break there in the late summer and fall because I got vertigo so bad I wasn't even able to make it into a hospital. So I've had, I, had IV infusions all through 2022. I was switching my health insurance at the beginning of the year uh, and it was really stressful. It is HMO, and so you kind of have to like have pre-approval for a lot of things. Though, my experience is that even though I read that, I haven't really had to do that with these IV infusions because they press it into the instructions of the health insurance. They, they say it over and over again, and things have to be pre-approved or they won't be paid for. Well, they're really expensive, my IV infusions. So, I just was going back and forth and because my doctor is not a member at the hospital because I live in a different city like an hour away from my primary care doctor 
He's amazing, that's why I drive that far. But he's not a member of the hospital that I go to for IV infusions, and so they won't call my insurance and do the pre-approval process because of that, which is silly, but it is. And the primary care place, they don't do regular IV infusions, so they don't know what the numbers are to send to the insurance to say, would you approve this? And then she said, you know, we don't do this normally. It's not like an MRI where I know the code to send to your insurance. She said, we have to find the billing codes because this is a really unique thing that you have done. Well, she called the billing office at the hospital, got nowhere. She called a lot of places, could not figure out how to get the billing codes. So I look at my old insurance like statements to see if there's billing codes on them and there weren't. And then I thought, oh wait, online, I could check the bills and I found the billing codes there, emailed them to the uh, person, and then she was the one that found out that we don't have to do a pre-authorization. I had my last IV infusion at the end of December, and as soon as that one wore off, my migraines were just hellish through January. Even though I had my first IV infusion last week, my brain was in this cycle of like the brain likes to get in, get in ruts. The brain likes to do things the way it's always done things. And that's why my migraines in the past have been so hard to break. Finally, like I've had a few days since the IV infusion where I haven't had migraines. So it's amazing that these actually help. And we did do a trial like this to see if it was a placebo effect. But usually if something is a placebo effect where it's helping only because you think it's helping or you want it to help, that will die off after a month or two according to my migraine specialist. Since I'm sitting here, do you guys want a dating update? I have talked to a lot of men. I had one guy, we had been talking for less than 24 hours. And he said, if things heat up between us, would you like to come here and make a life with me and move into my house and live with me? And I'm like, we've known each other for less than 24 hours. <laughs> Maybe not. So this is where I park. It's in front of like a rehab type part. And then I have to walk all the way over there uh, to get actually into the registration desk, but there's rarely ever any parking spots close over there. There are some in the car garage, but I don't like to use that for creepy reasons, which I'll tell you later, because I'm running late. Right. Oh, I gotta put up my paint cap placard. So here we are. We just started my fluids. Um, and she's getting my other meds. I have my own room this time, which I'm really appreciating. Those are my fluids on that pump. And then that is my magnesium on that pump. I bent my arm. No, 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 we're good. I bet my I am messaging, I'm talking with this guy on dating app. I never know how they're gonna go. Well, they usually don't go anywhere. Um, there have been a few men who I've like ended up talking on the phone for a while and getting to know and spending a lot of time getting to know them and then like going on a date. Two guys who I really was interested in just ghosted me. One guy just literally one conversation we were talking about, he was talking about when he talks to my dad and meets my dad. He's gonna talk about different grilling recipes and stuff like that. And literally the next day, he disappeared. And he had blocked me, blocked my phone. He had uh, disconnected, like basically blocked me on the dating app. It was a shock. It actually really hurt because I really, really liked him. But. I think that he was more into the idea of being with someone than being with me. And I don't know why it keeps doing that. I was exhausted. I don't know what I'm gonna have to hold on. Holy cow. Go get my coat. Go get it. Go get it. Over there. A little further. There you go. Get it. That's it. You get it. You get it, Ben. That's it. You get it. Good job. Bring. Tug, tug, tug. Good job. Yes. It's like it fell on the floor. Give. Good boy. You are so stretch. So I was laying in that bed a long time. Good boy. Good job, Benny. You want to go back to sleep? 
Good night. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world. You are not.